Before we start, I'd like to say that what you are about to see is a bit over the top. It's hard to believe that they exist in the real world. I'm not saying they do or they don't, but like I have said many times before, I don't think the camera is taking pictures of something that isn't there. So with that said, the camera that took this picture was overlooking the rear yard of my home in Palm Springs, Florida. To me it appears to be a huge face, not pretty, but has two eyes, a nose, mouth, and seems to have its right fist resting up against its jaw while thinking. What are you doing? To give you a better idea of where this picture came from, I will slow down the film so you can watch the image materialize and eventually disappear. It's quite evident that at times it appears transparent. This picture, by the way, is not shown in my book, The Alien Connection. This facial image on the left, indicated by the top arrow, does not appear to be looking into the window, but instead seems to be overlooking the alien entity or spacesuit that will approach the camera from the rear of the yard. The image appears to have a face with a very long neck that seems to be going to the ground. A dark colored band seems to be around the neck just below the facial area. This is indicated by the bottom arrow. It appears to be watching the alien image and once it leaves the area, this image also slowly disappears. The following observations may or may not be significant, but they are on film. This alien was photographed coming out of the bottom of a spacesuit shown directly above it. This picture will be enlarged so you can study the image. It appears to have a long neck with a dark band near the head. This was the case with the image on the previous video. The following comments are based on observations of the films and are strictly speculation on my part. There are several features on this photograph that are very significant. One of these is what could be a long tail on the image. All of the alien images appear to have long tails. This is indicated by the bottom arrow. Another is a small white ball near the bottom of the image. This ball is always present near the aliens or their space suits. It appears to be a power source. The head is indicated by the top arrow. The neck and dark bands are shown by the center arrow. It seems to be the case that when aliens come to this planet, they are always in space type suits or disguises. The only other time they have appeared on film is when they are still in a transporter or energy beam. This picture was taken moments after an alien image left the spacesuit and it is fairly obvious the alien entity is inside of this suit or disguise. This was previously shown in the Alien Connection video 2 of 15. The head of this image and the long neck is indicated by the arrows. The body section of the alien is believed to be inside what appears to be a canister. Notice the dark bands around the image. I don't know if this is significant, but it is on film, and it is common with previous images. This is a picture of a suspected alien being moments before it leaves what appears to be an energy or transporter beam. This video clip was previously shown on the video clip, The Alien Connection 3 of 15. The next photograph will show this type of alien being inside what appears to be another type disguise or protective suit. The image on the right is the same type image that was shown in the previous picture. The picture on the left was taken in 1974, appearing to occupy another type protective suit. Notice the protective suit appears to have two arms held forward or horizontal in this picture. You can clearly see the long tail extending from the bottom of the suit. The alien image that is in the energy beam on the right of the picture and the alien image that is in the disguise or protective suit shown on the left appear to be identical. 
This particular image was first seen in the Alien Connection video 2 of 15. This picture shows three different alien beings. The two images on the left were photographed from a different angle, more or less showing a side view of the images, which reveals more detail of the image than the photograph on the right. If you have seen or filmed similar images and would like to share information, email me at heraldsmystery at aol.com. Also see the book The Alien Connection by Gregory Herald. Images on the film are shown and described in the book The Alien Connection. Review through Google Book Search, purchase online through Amazon.com. Also available through Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Target, and other major bookstores.